Hello everybody and we're back with another episode and you guys can see I moved. I moved into my big building here. I didn't show you the building of it, I didn't do all that. I just figured let's just build a big office space for me to store all my stuff. So where I built my windmill, which is right out here, I placed at the bottom a 100,000 uh, LV accumulator. It's basically just my battery. Um, and I also put my little cold generator over here so that we can at the very least um, fill this thing uh, oops um, with some battery but I have some I have some work being done I am pulverizing uh, into dusts and then I'm smelting them and we have begun working on another uh, tech chain here um, I need to build some more of these tough fabrics so I can make that produce even more RF per tick. That's one of my goals here. So I'm, I've been doing that with industrial um, engineering there. Um, and I want to get into, well, there's a witch out there. Let's get out of here. Um, I wanted to do more thermal expansion. So I opened up myself into a induction smelter so we can make alloys. We're going to need alloys to make some more things into the thermal expansion. Um, upgraded our chest here to a gold chest and put our iron chest up here. And we put a massive amount of chests all over the place. I might put up a uh, sign network so I know where everything is. Or we might get into like RF tools for some refined storage. Um, just because this is getting, it gets a little out of control. Um, with knowing where all your items are in this sort of world. So, uh, I'm trying to keep it relatively simple. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, I just ate, so there's like garbage in my throat. Um, so, um, I, I, I got into this guy here. This guy has been my uh, main miner when it comes to, I need to mine something like obsidian or um, something that's really hard. I use this for that. But I really don't, and it mines really nicely in like a straight line, a few things, but it's expensive to upgrade. Um, and I don't know that that's what I want to go with. Um, thermal expansion has a flux bore, which is relatively easy to make. Iron, drill heads, copper, it's relatively simple. Um, and I can always upgrade this thing with other um, upgrades here. And I might build that because I it takes RF so just like this thing does but I may be able to use this to do like massive mining um, faster mining for a lot cheaper and looking at it right now I'm looking at how easy it is to make um, I might just do this as soon as this iron is done being smelted up because um, I can really get into that quickly so that may be something we look into I might build a flux capacitor so that I can keep things charged uh, fluxo magnet, which is relatively cheap to make too. Again, lead, iron, they're all like all these things all require some power, but that may be something we can do um, very easily. Or I might start getting into botania to cover some of this magnet stuff and all this other stuff here too. I haven't played with much with thermal expansion, so I'll probably do this first. And botania I'll probably use for some of its bauble stuff. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the whole sterling dynamo situation because I still have that thing here. I need to figure out why it's not emptying and I thought maybe it had something to do with the redstone signal um, that it wasn't selected as ignored um, had nothing to do with augmentation had nothing to do with RF um, I'm gonna play around with this a bit more I think um, to see if I can get it to deposit into this thing because we could really use it to be depositing into there because it even though it this only accepts that's the that's the real problem is that it only accepts um, uh, it only accepts see that says input so it, it should be going in and it's just not should be going in there but it doesn't and I thought maybe we throw a catalyst in oh wait there it goes it's draining Oh, that's brilliant. It needs a catalyst of some kind. Okay. Not a huge fan of that. 
on how it does the draining system, but it is working now. So we could use that and I didn't have to use this thing. Ugh. This thing is not my favorite. It's fine for basic generation, but it only takes coal, so and I don't know that this is more efficient or not. But we are ticking downward so we're not getting enough RF out of this. Well, whatever. We now have an option for that too. Look at that. Fixed it with just five seconds of fiddling. Um, so yeah, we might we might get into thermal expansion a little bit here um, and do our flux bore. Let's why don't we build one of those and get that started. We need some copper. We need some iron. We are going to need some invar. No, we're still in gold. Need tin and lead, maybe. I wasn't paying attention. Where's my tin? Tin. Tin gears, yep. Okay, I think we could do that now. Let's do let's go ahead and do these things. So let's build the drill first. Drill done. Let's get tin gears done. Oh, we need iron nuggets. Tin gears, one, two. Gold gear, easy enough. Redstone flux coil and flux bore, easy enough. Now, I don't know if I have a way to charge this thing. Do you take, you don't take thermal expansion stuff? Of course not. Oh, there you go. Okay, so there is a charging station here that will do the job. All right. <clears throat> So, we can now drill pretty easily those things, so that is nice. Now there are upgrades for thermal expansion. Um, <clears throat> I still have those fluid ducts and all that other ridiculousness. Um, okay, what are the upgrades that we could use for thermal dynamics here? Um, here they are. Knowledge can be stored and retrieved. Ex expanded RF coil increases the RF capacity and the RF transfer rate. Standard high. Well, let's get out of the tank stuff. Fluid filters. Flux linkage. Flux efficiency increases RF input resource processing speed. Creative flux efficiency. Auxiliary processing. Increased non primary item output. Killer reclamation. Creative reclamation. Cyclic pressing, auxiliary cactus, auxiliary reaction increases generation rate, produces efficiency. This is all looks like it's for the um, like dynamos. Yeah, it tells you what it's for. Radial enhancement area of effect by one. I don't know if that's the right kind of thing that goes in the drill or not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it takes to upgrade it. Because I'd like to put some upgrades that make it mine um, larger areas. So I'll look into that a little bit. But that is cool. We now have a new mining gadget that isn't this thing, and I think it'll be, I think, better overall. Let's go quickly give it a test, just so you can see the kind of... It's not as quick as the uh, other thing, but it does not degrade. So that's cool. It just uses RF, which is pretty sweet if you ask me so that'll be the the main way that we uh, mine now I think we will use the uh, amethyst pickaxe and these other iron pickaxes anyways uh, just to use them up but once they're used up we'll 
you know, we'll just switch the flux bore and we'll then upgrade this flux bore for the future. Um, uh, that would be really helpful in the long run. Alright, so now we can put all this stuff back. We don't need to carry all that with us right now. I don't know why I was cooking up stone. I was cooking up stone. Oh, for the thermal induction smelter, because I need that to make other kinds of things like aluminum ingots and stuff like that, um, I believe. Yeah, stuff. Certain ingots require that. Um, Enderio may be one of them. I, I'm not sure. How do we make the thermalpedia? That would be nice. A book. And now we make a book. Paper and some leather. I think we could do that. Maybe we could find out exactly. A book and some leather. That's what we need. Some book. Uh, we have all of this out here. So we should have some right here. One. Let's just grab it all because we don't know how much we're going to need. All right. Paper. Book. And. What else did I say? And the wrench. Oh, I'm going to have to use my wrench. Oh, at least I keep my wrench. All right, so now we have the Thermopedia. So now we can see equipment and tools. All right, the flux bore. Augment capability. Integral components. Upgrade augments improve the overall stats of machines, devices, dynamos, and tools. They scale their base RF store, transfer and fluid transfer, factor stacks and other augmented abilities. However, with all of the underlying modifiers, the only the highest scale applies. For example, a redstone furnace with resonant and hard integral parts and a stabilized RF code will have a 24 times the RF storage. Okay, because that was taking one of the highest hardened. So I got that. Radial enhancement. Okay, the radial enhancement allows your tool or machine to affect a greater area. This is the one I want. Around with each augment will increase the maximum area will block, block by one. I want at least a three by three. That would be nice. So it needs tin, a redstone servo, and an iron gear. Oh, we could totally do this. We could totally do this. Some tin. Uh, where is it? The radial one. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got this. We got this. All right. <clears throat> Radial enhancement. Do that one first. Iron gears. Can we do another type of iron gear? Yeah. I thought so. One without a nugget. That's pretty stupid. And then radial enhancement. Done. Now how do I upgrade the machine? Oh, don't tell me I need that other machine. What's it called? Is it a metallurgic infuser or something like that? Is it the metallurgic infuser? Energetic confuser? No. Oh, the metallurgic confuser is a mechanism item. Let me, let me resort to the book. To the lord of all books. Okay. How to do these things. Guides and FAQs. Where are upgrade kits? Read this. Upgrades are your overall stats and machines. I know that. Hardened integral component. fine but it doesn't tell me how to upgrade them 
<coughs> a tinker bench. That's what it was. I couldn't remember what it was called. Tinker. There it is. Tinker's workbench. Iron. Well, okay, yeah, this is easy. All right, we got this. Thought we still had our gold on us. Uh, iron. Do that. Bang. Done. I need some wood. Where's my wood? I put all my wood outside, didn't I? I need planks. Okay, let's make one of these. And one of those. We need glass. Don't tell me you accept only. Now let's try that. There we go. Yeah, you you accept only one type. All right, and then that means we can put this in here, and boom, you're getting RF. I knew I needed one more thing there, so now everything is got a slot, which means we can now <laughs> it charges, but we can change it to augment. So I basically have two chargers now. Uh, whatever. Um, so let's go ahead and plop this in there, and put our augment on there. And then boom, we have it. Now it should mine a three by three area. Well, that's what I would think. There we go. V is like the button to press, and then you'll see that it will now do a three by three area. Wonderful. <clears throat> now, mining is going to be a lot easier. Um, so, were there any other bonuses that I wanted to do? We've had that one bonus the radial enhancement it prevents art from being lost, it increases fuel efficiency, it increases the strength of, apply of an applied potion. Machine, 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 machine. These are all machine filters, fluid, redstone, flux, expanded RF coil. I think that might be worth doing too, just because I want to be able to go on longer mining expeditions. So, what do we need? Gold, silver. Okay, yeah. We have that. And a redstone. Okay, yeah, yeah, we got this. This isn't such a bad thing to get involved with here. Charge you up first. Then we'll do the editing. Put that in there. Now you have a larger RF capacity. Now we'll have to charge you up for it. And that's just the start. It's four times the amount. We'll see how that holds up for us. Um, let me charge faster in here because you've got a buffer. Yeah. You have a much larger buffer here. So we'll take that out of there. We'll use you as the augmenter, but you as the charger. Um, and I have a feeling we could probably... I can't believe that's still cooking. That is crazy. All right, well, if you're still cooking, I have an idea. If you're going to be able to cook, you should convert me some charcoal then. That's what you should do. Because I actually, I put something in here that is going to last for who knows how long, so I might as well use the, uh, the power that does it, you know? So I might as well just use all that power up. All right, so you now are charged up for a three times the amount of space, and then knowledge concentrator of uh, XP to be stored and retrieved. It's kind of cool. Flux linkage increases process speed, reduces RF efficiency, increases RF speed. Create a flux one. Auxiliary process increases non-primary item output. Maybe 
be transferred to input process completion and destroys excess non prairie so we have chamber I don't need another radial enhancement although it's kind of cool all right so we have um, we have what I needed in order to go mining a little bit deeper we can go ahead and put this away and that away and this away and there and this and that and I'll go put away our while we're out here just go ahead and drop a handful more of these guys to keep the bad boys at bay like that bad boy You are a bad boy. I must spank you with my vampiric sword so I lose no life. It's wonderful. You're almost dead. You have a lot of health. But you are very much dead now. Ooh. I don't know which of these is better. This one gave me a speed boost. I don't know. Blast protection reduces energy from explosions, which is kind of nice. Gives me extra armor, knockback resistant, extra max health. socket this sort of this one I don't know how to put things in the socket yet so we're just gonna hold on to you for now oh we, he gave us a gem when socketed in weapons plus ace base armor of damage when armor physical damage taken is reduced by nine percent sweet let's just go ahead and put that in our helmet since we have a slot available right yeah we do so this guy ought to do it. Right? Nope, I guess not. I don't know what it takes to do these. It's only work in... Nope. I have no idea. I want you, because you make me faster. That's what matters to me right now. <laughs> and then you are in here, because you are mob drop. Okay, we need to get some more of these guys. In case we need more. And we are going to go mining for a little while. Um, let's go test this guy out and see what that mining situation is like. I'm excited because we really need the ability to mine like with more efficiency and this guy allows us to do that um we have a big drop we have Y level 16 right here which or sorry it's not Y level 16 it's Y level 50 so let's let's do one right here yeah this is cool so much easier and then we can still drop our lights still get our coal do this much more efficiently I want one of those voiding things so I don't my inventory doesn't fill up with cobble this way though that's going to be important I think yeah, because our inventory is already getting full of cobble. So that's that's going to be fun. But yeah, this is so much faster. So much faster. And we can do much larger mining chambers this way. It mines as fast as the hardest thing that it's mining, which I think is pretty smart. Gobber. Gobber foods are good. 
Yeah, we're already getting full. Which means, oh, then now that we got this other thing, this is why I wanted to get the Sterling Dynamo fixed. I'll show you why. We have this thing in here called the Gobber Food, which is a really awesome food so uh, not food source. It's a um, it's a source for energy and. Well, I mean, the way that this is just burnt up, I definitely need to build a capacitor to back up this stuff here because I am burning through it. Oh, okay. So in here, I want to toss this in here. Yeah, you're going to burn for a long time. And that's what matters to me is that you're going to output a lot better than stupid charcoal ever would. So much better. But now... Everybody's netting. Oh yeah, we're back in business with everybody here. While we're here, we'll charge you up. Um, yeah, we need to build something to avoid all of this cobble. Because although we like cobble, we don't need this much cobble. Well, there's the copper foods I was talking about. This is all my source stuff that we could use here. We don't really need this much copper, but whatever. We'll just go ahead and drop it in there. Iron, raw osmium, everything else has a home in here. But like we're already filling up on cobble this way. Food and appetite goes in here. Okay. All right. Are you filled up yet? You should be good. All right be increasing yep and now that gobber food thing uh, is definitely going to um, keep going for a while we want to think about it and at least keep things steady for us as these two machines do what they need to do um, we don't need to get into anything else so I might build a flux capacitor where are you flux capacitor there you are you require some lead redstone okay we're gonna do that that's easy enough some lead. I don't know that we said we needed iron. Redstone. We're going to need some gold. And this one's going to need some upgrades too, probably, if we want it to be uh, capable of holding more power. But there we are. We can go ahead and drop you in the charger next. That you hold 500,000, so at least you hold plenty of RF for when I needed to. You don't transfer very fast, which is why some of the upgrades might make sense. Like the, where is it? The stabilizer expanded. The transfer rate on them will be a little bit faster if I used, okay, I see, faster RF transfer. So the high flux might be the right option for you you can store more store uh, twice as much so a million RF which is still plenty and transfer a lot faster so that way my thing doesn't die off or we just go for like the 4x4 we do the expanded again so it's just overall you know decent let's see let's see how well it does without the need for that um, we should probably set this to the different uh, we'll set it to all items that way it charges everything that I have at all times and then we don't need you you or you or you and I don't know if this will work in the backpack but I'll at the very least do that now how do I get something to void uh, remember the null no we don't have the null nope that doesn't exist anymore um void what's it called void prism create a chemical tank I could also use a trash can just to dump things in <clears throat> trash void at least you're easier to make than well, you're a lot cheaper to make this way um, I don't know what it's called um, Well, 
We'll look into it at some point. Oh, void junk. Voids blocks adds filtering too. Oh, that would be for the other item. That's for the mining. Okay, no. Well, there's a way to do it, and we may not be looking into it right this moment. Um, what are you doing on my roof? Jeez. You come around so often. It's really frustrating me. Let's put a few more of these around so we just... Get out of here, creeper. Thank you. Alright. Drop a few more of these. Alright. So now we have the ability to keep a lot of these guys away. And see, this thing is still burning. Yeah, it's not even halfway done. And this guy is completely burnt out. He can't burn anything else, which is why. Yeah. So much better. It's not the best, but for the kind of work we're doing, this will do just fine. We are negatively, so we are draining faster. Yeah, we are draining faster than we... See, you're filling. I wish there was a priority I could set. It's filling the first thing and putting priority to him first. Um, well, these just continue to empty. I might have to dig you up. If I dig you up, uh, now you are still losing. You're still losing. But you're netting. Nope, you're losing too. And you are increasing. It's like it's prioritizing this tinker table stuff. I, I don't understand. I mean, we don't need the charger anymore if we have this as a charger, so the charger can stay disconnected for now. Well, we could just drop it because it has a stored inventory of power. But, yeah, you're netting upwards. You're netting upwards now. Oh, wait, no, now we're increasing. Well, you lose as you charge, as you do stuff. I see that. And you've been grinding indefinitely, so you just keep losing. I guess it doesn't hurt to just leave you plugged in, but... Eh, we'll leave you disconnected for now. Just for now. I hate you. He's still going. This is what I mean, like... Coal coke. Do you do charcoal? There's only coal coke. Yeah, no, you only do coke, a uh, coal. So let's go ahead and put some of the you in there. I need the creosote oil for other things. Do we have more hemp? I do. So let's collect some hemp. Hemp. We need for the fabric. No. We need to look into that recipe. So that's what we're doing right here is we're building up these uh, these things here. And I need to build more of them. So that is called the tough fabric. Yeah. How many more of these can I make? Just one more? Because I don't have enough treated sticks. should have eight which should be all I need to get yeah, get to the roof need to get to the roof hopefully you don't break no you don't Okay, crafting table. Let's surround you in that. Is that how it works? How do I? Windmill sails. Ooh, then what are they used for?
Do I not know what I'm doing? Windmill sails. That's how we do those. And what are they used for? They don't have a recipe? Like, they have a recipe, but then how are they used? I have no idea. Well, that was a fail, so let's get you back on there so you can at least continue to make me power. We'll have to figure you out another day. Because I don't understand. I thought maybe you would generate more power if I did it that way. Do I even know how much power it's actually generating? Like, is there a way to find out how much it's generating? I guess the only way to know would be to look at... This one's almost out. It officially ran out, so let's go get more gobber foo. We'll just load the gobber foo in there. So you were outputting at 40, and I can't tell what you're outputting at. Is there a... Oh, the, the hammer, that's what it is. Let's take a look with the hammer. Let me get up a little closer. It doesn't tell me what it's outputting at. So I wish I knew, but I don't. But it's not a big deal. Uh oh. Gotta be careful. Alright. We're charged up. Okay. So now we can do a lot more mining. Yeah, so you're going up, you're going down because you're working, and you're nearly empty. Definitely. want to use you but we need you to, to help it along. This you at least produce 60 RF, simply it's 40 so we're at least producing 100 RF plus whatever maybe 25 RF that the the uh, windmill's doing. Alright, so let's get back to mining further down because I really could use some more tools, some more stuff. So we just did down here, so we'll just mine up all this coal. Pow. 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 And this is where the fun kind of like begins with this stuff. I gotta be careful though, because I will end up using maybe cutting huge holes into the walls, so that's why I like to have a mining pick on me for these other more specific things that I don't want to like cut into too deep really for. I want more of that gobber foo. Alright. So let us get out of here. We'll go down a little bit and then we'll go let's pick a direction here. Well, since we kind of started here, let's just go this way. Look at that lapis already. Nice. Some more coal. Some iron. That's nice. Okay, I 
I didn't activate it. I was wondering why it wasn't working. Stop here. We have a full inventory for the most part, but that's okay. We're not gonna dig around too much here. Um, all right, let's eat some gobbler food, and then I like to go over two rows and dig again. Now we're going to overlap a little bit, but that's okay. This is so we can be efficient with what we see here. We're going to be filling up really soon on all of these other lower, lower items. Alright, I think we should stop there. And I like to connect over a little bit. Just go a bit more. So that way it's kind of like evenly. Oh, and then there's iron, of course. Right as I get to the end. All right, that's cool. So we have everything we need. We don't need any more cobble. <clears throat> we might get into some other forms of use for cobble here like maybe like a magma crucible or something I don't know we'll look into it all right so look at that now our mining situation is going by really fast I keep forgetting we have a backpack but we use it for tools mainly um, go ahead and put all that away We'll get ourselves more and more of this stuff, and we'll see you guys in the next episode when I have the next project in mind. My next project is going to be getting started on Batania. So when we're ready for that, I will let you know, and we'll check in with you soon. Take it easy, guys.